two pieces. And I have made them with three, three, but the third one. And the largest one I ever made, there 14 gallons I measured here just to see what it would run. But the average run would be about uh, 20 to 20 some pounds of clay. How much money do they do? You buy your different uh, ingredients to go in it, chemicals, and then you have a formula and you make it up and then you uh, put different things in different doses. And to lower your temperatures, you get cones, use cones, and you tell how hot it gets, and if you have to change it, you have to change your formula a little so you get your glazes like you want. And of course, you get a lot of freaks, odd things, in handmade pottery where you wouldn't get in a lot of, uh, you know, commercial, because it's, uh, it's just a different way of making it. You can get a lot of things that you can't. Sometimes you put a glaze in there and <clears throat> you think it come out one color, it'll be another. I've seen it do that. And you have to find out then what made that and then you change it. Sometimes you can get a new glaze, but I just experiment a little bit like that. I've got a glaze now that turned out pretty that I'm working on, but I've not got it out perfect. It's a, it's a glaze everybody likes, but I don't have it really down the path here. Ain't much I can tell you till I get it worked out, but it is, uh, I'm coming on. It takes some more than one time to get one to work on. Right now, I can't get as many old shapes as they just said. It's a bad order store. But as far as one outside now, the, the Rebecca Fisher outside one. I'm just making for myself, uh, certainly I'd be making something new, different. I'd be having something new to make. Oh, uh, we have experienced, uh, you know, getting some new shapes. But we take our old shapes that we had whenever my father had the father before he died. And we had a catalog made of all of our shapes. And so each one had their own shapes. And so we, we've kept that. And then we have added some new ones to it. But we still use more of our old shapes than we do the new ones. And our father taught us to make it thin. If we made it thick, we tore it down. <laughs> He wouldn't let us make the body real thick and heavy. And the people like them thin, so when you drink out of a mug, a coffee cup or anything like that, you don't like to have one in your mouth that's thick. We had a catalog at one time. We had 500 and some shapes in here. But we don't run that many shapes now. I imagine that our shapes now would run around uh, to 250 that we run regular but we we are interested in making new pieces every every week if we possibly can and see how they go and see who likes them sometimes they go and sometimes we drop them. i don't think that there's any um, any movement away from uh, regular weight making the pot we uh, nobody throws exactly the same same. It's almost like a, a baseball pitcher. Nobody pitches exactly alike, but they, uh, it's similar to uh, that. It, uh, we make, make pots, and ours is a little bit different from uh, most of the people. It, uh, we, we don't. It's not about the same thing. I, I would agree that it would be about the same way as it, as it is being all along. I have to agree with Walter. These are some of my favorite shapes. Anything that uh, was made years ago, uh, we try to hang on to it and, and make them again, like I mentioned a while ago, even the foot warmers, which is certainly, you know, out of good. And yet a lot of people buy them and bury them in the ashes and, uh, and they say they use them. Uh, we make... Uh, milk crocks and churns and who's got a cow today you know uh, of course they use the uh, milk crocks for uh, as a slip pot to put a flower pot in and you sew the jars 
uh, are used today more for uh, putting things like wooden spoons in. Um, so the usage really has changed for some of these things, but your old pie dish has never changed. We still make hundreds, thousands of pie dishes a year. Yeah, I, I make a lot of pie dishes. I make, well, I make about three sizes. I make a, a say a seven inch, a nine inch, and an 11, 12 inch. The machine made pottery, you're gonna buy the same thing every time. You're gonna buy the same shape every time, the same size every time. And the handmade pottery, you're gonna get a, it might look alike, but it's gonna be a different. It's gonna be different. Even if you buy it a day and it's made a, same thing is made tomorrow, you come back next week, you'd buy it, it, it will be a little bit different from what, what you got one, one week from the next week. Well, this is a gray glaze here, the teapot. That's gray made with a, it's not an not a alkaline glaze at all, it's because it's made out of, the body of it is a feldspar. I make the bottom under here, then I bring it out and try to get the bottom as flat as I can down here to make the spout look you know, look better on here. Then I put this little extra piece on here, make a lid, stick the handle on it, pick it up and pull it out without picking, without using your hand to hold the lid on. Nancy, the daughter works, so she makes all most of the small part. There two of my daughters do. One of them don't live here, she lives at uh, Blowing Rock, and she makes a lot of the medium potter, small potter, but um, Billy Ray Hudson, he helps us some. He, he makes some of the pieces that you see in here. And boy, he does uh, glazing. My wife used to help him, but she don't help him anymore. So him and Nancy and Billy Ray does all that. I don't have anything to do with the business whatsoever. We have to keep up. See, there's some things that we use now that we didn't even know that it was, it was a material to make glaze out of 10 years ago. People didn't even realize it would work as a glaze. And uh, some of the stuff we've been using, I've been using 47 years, 48 years. Some of the stuff that my daddy used, and I'm still using that same stuff. Keep the burners fixed, keep the blowers fixed, keep the oil pump fixed, keep the oil going to it, then you don't have no problem. Happy party, look at that around. 